Hello everyone and welcome to my Mad About King YouTube channel. <laughs> well, chapter one, where do we start? It's gonna have to be it, yes. The clown that everyone seems to be loving these days, especially seeing as our Bill Skarsgård has done a really good version. Um, let's say that, uh, you know, he's he's uh, filled Tim Curry's shoes pretty well, I, I should admit. Um, so yes, here we go. Well, when I was a lot younger, <laughs> I'm keeping that a secret, uh, <laughs> um, I watched the first uh, version, which was the 1990 TV miniseries starring Tim Curry and a bundle of other well-known, much-loved actors and some sadly passed on. Um, and, uh, yeah, it... it uh, there were certain scenes that terrified me. I mean, obviously, the, the famous opening scene um, with uh, Tim Curry appearing in front of the flapping towels or, or is it bed sheets on, on the rack? can't quite remember, on, on the uh, washing line. And then you've got the more, you know, the one that brings you into the story of the losers uh, when you meet Bill Dembro and Georgie for the first time. And uh, obviously Bill's making the boat for Georgie to go sail out in the rain. And you you encounter uh, Pennywise for the first time. And at first you, you feel a little bit weirded out seeing a clown in a drain, you know, in a, in a storm drain. But obviously now thinking about it, it's, it's quite comical. But when you were, you know, when you were at least probably... I don't know, I can't remember how old I was when I watched it. Um, yeah, it makes you feel pretty uneasy. And uh, <laughs> and um, and you carry on watching just out of sheer curiosity, even though you start hiding behind your, the sleeve of your shirt or, you, you know, you're hiding behind the pillow. And and then once the, the fun part's over, he, you know, he, you see him grab George's arm, and but you don't see what actually happens. I think, they, they, you know, they left that for their imagination. So obviously when you're young, you, you know, you're thinking all kinds of things and you go, oh, no, don't, don't kill Georgie, no. And then, um, and then you're introduced to the rest of the losers at the funeral, which is the next scene. And then... Um, you know, and and then you've got, um, you, you know, you you've got like scenes that uh, that are really that really you know that are like fused into your memory. You know, I'm I'm probably not going to pick them off in the exact order of the of the, of the series that 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 went that they were in. Um, you know, you've got the scary <laughs> the scary shower scene for Eddie Kasprak. Um, that always used to terrify me a little bit. You know, I, I was I was scared to go in the bath. <laughs> I was scared to actually have a bath for um, the next couple of weeks, fearing I could hear voices coming from the drain, <laughs> from, from the plug hole. Um, and, and my mum and me and my mum and my dad, you or my dad more, he, he used to uh, he used to, he used to say the things like. We all float down here. <laughs> you know, so it, it can be quite, you know, it can be quite traumatic, when, you know, when you're a kid. But, you know, when when you grow up and, you know, you sort of overcome fears that, that, that horror movies back then um, projected onto, onto the audience, you know, there, there, were, there were pretty good horror movies. And I grew up on horror movies, so... But we'll we'll go back we'll we'll go back to uh, um, my childhood probably in a different video to the whole reason why I'm doing this this channel. Uh, so yes, Stephen King, um, brilliant brilliant writer. Um, I've read now. Uh, I've read yeah, like I said, I've read all of it, and it took me like two three four years to read because like I said I lost the first copy that I bought and you know and, and I, I recall I was at the part where we meet Beverly Marsh 
um, 23, 27 years later, and uh, she's in quite an abusive relationship, quite a controlling relationship. And when I finally got to that part and started reading past it, and I thought, great, I'm going to, I'm finally going to catch up where I could have caught up some years before if I'd not lost that copy. So, um, yeah, so, um, do you want to see my background? <laughs> I'll say it's a very small home, so we have not really got an office, uh, which I would love to have if at some point that does happen. So here we've got my Pennywise doll that mum bought for me. Look at him all, all happy and yeah, you know, he's got his, his balloons in the back and he's got to his clawed hands and you know you love that little scene where he sees um ben um when he's young and then at the same time when he's much older so yeah mum bought me this um i think it was last year or the year before thank you mum and i'll cherish it always and i can't take it out of the box because obviously it's going to lose its value ooh, ooh. that's one for the video bloopers uh, <laughs> And um, a special treat, thanks to a good friend of my mum's, uh, Leanne, Leanne Young. Uh, she um, managed to get a copy, well, two copies of the new version that came out in 2016 and 2019 last year, because we're now in 2020. And she has sold them to me, uh, chapter one and two. And I'm very delighted to have that in now my collection. It will they'll be in a loving home. Um, the uh, you know I've got even bought oh another one for the bloopers. I even bought the DVD from HMV uh, two for ten. So I got another Stephen King goodie with that one. But I won't uh, I won't uh, reveal that till the next episode. And this is going quite well, better than what I did on my laptop. I uh, made quite a few blunders, um, like I'm doing now. <laughs> and we also have up here, if you can see, thanks to uh, Bob's daughter, Laura, she makes bath bombs. And uh, oh, I'm having trouble getting this DVD to stand back up. Just stay there. Oh, God. Right, you will stay up there, Pennywise. Right. Oh, for... Well, there you have it. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I've got this little cute bath bomb, and that DVD is going to fall down now. Yeah, this is going great. Well, if this is certainly going to get some likes from my channel, I don't know what will. This cute little Pennywise bath bomb. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a bath, we have a shower, but um, even if I did have a bath, I wouldn't be using it because... Well, it's Pennywise. It's just too adorable. Unless, of course, he has some sort of special ability where when it goes down the plug hole, you can hear children singing uh, the oranges and lemon songs. Um, so, well, I think I've done pretty well so far. Um, I've just got one more thing or one or two things to show. So um, last year, just before Halloween, I treated myself to some new ink. Yes, you all know what it is. Most of you anyway will. <laughs> was um, I've been I've been itching to get some uh, get a new tattoo for a while. So uh, I treated myself to um, a session um, at the studio called well the very small studio excuse me called a uh, steel brush tattoo and uh, a very delightful guy dave he uh he took the time out on a, a very quiet sunday losing me at on a very quiet sunday to do this for me now the original that i saw was on oh see it there was on facebook but in the balloon at the top it didn't have pennywise's face in it so I said, you know, wouldn't it be a good idea if we made it slightly different so it's not an exact copy? And I've just realised my cheeks are incredibly blushed. It must be warm. And um, so, yeah, it took took a couple of hours. We had, a, we had a couple of tea breaks in between and Mum made the lovely cups of teas. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> 
And, um, you know, it, it brought back memories of having tattoos done and, you know, I, I do plan to get some more. So, you know, I really enjoyed watching it being done um, and watching how he did it. And, you know, it wasn't that painful, to be honest. There, you know, there are a few, you know, bits where I felt myself go, but, you know, you sort of get over it after a while, especially if you've had tattoos before. Um, so yes, back to the book and I'll put my DVDs back in a minute, back to the book. It is a very good read, especially if you've never read Stephen King before. Um, I would recommend it and it is one of my favorite stories of all time because like I say, uh, I watched it when I was little and it stuck with me over the years and so I'm struggling to look into the camera <laughs> I'm always looking down um and you know that if you've got the time you know you don't have to be a fan to read it you could have different authors in your collection but I have actually started uh quite the king collection and um and I'm, I'm currently branching out even more but uh, unfortunately we've not got much shelf space but uh, hopefully you know, in the near future, we, we might be able to. So, um, altogether, it's 1,166 pages long. So if you do have time, you know, if you're on a lunch break at work, I, I highly recommend you go and read it because it is a really good read. And there are some really funny parts in it as well as scary and disturbing and psychological um, chapters in it. Um, and... Uh, as for the the version that came out in 2016, uh, I I was sceptical at first, um, but then I loved the opening scene um, because this time you actually get to see what happens to Georgie. Sorry, spoiler alert, if no one's actually seen it now, you should watch it now. <laughs> it's been out long enough. Um, you know, you, you've got the rest of the losers. They've all got their own little backgrounds as it is in the book. Um, and, and you know that there, there have been some opinions where oh it's not in the book it's not like the book or oh it's a complete you know or, or the second half that came out last year was according to some an abs absolutely rubbish it you know had nothing to do with the book and well, so what if it didn't you know in my personal opinion I enjoyed it and I'm one of those who say you know you know each to their own and, and and I've always thought that if someone's going to make a movie out of a book, if the author loves it, then there's no real problem. And uh, the you know there's there's been some um, reviews about another uh, Stephen King movie that's not long just come out. Um, but we'll hit that on the next episode. I'm not going to blend into the next ones uh not when we're particularly dedicating this one to pennywise love you dude right well i think that covers it for now but if i have missed anything do let me know in the comments and um thank you for watching ta -ra!